What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this plum smoky eye, which I think is so pretty for a winter date night or girls night out. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. The first shadow we're going to use is Bobbi Brown Single Shadow in Wheat. This is just a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone, so I'm going to use it to start defining out my crease with a large fluffy brush. I chose this shadow because I'm going to be using mainly purple shadows today and this is a really good neutral shadow towards the cool side that's not too cool. I do already have my eyes primed, foundation, etc. on so I'll leave those products listed down below as usual. Next I'm going in with the Palladio Duo in Cityscape and I'm going to take the left side of that which is the lighter, same brush and do the exact same thing. This is just a little bit darker than that wheat. I like to layer multiple transition shades so you have a really soft effect but also it gradually gets deeper than having just a harsh change in shadows. So this one is right in between that first transition shade and the darker shade I'm going to go in with next. Now with a more firm blender brush I'm going to take the darker side of that duo and really work it into the outer portion of my crease and really concentrate it right there just to start deepening up the look. Blending is so key when it comes to a smoky eye, so it looks like you didn't just layer a really dark shadow on it, makes it look way softer. For today's base, I am going to be using one of the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows in Purple Priority. It's this gorgeous, really dark plum color. I love these shadows. They're so inexpensive and they're such great quality. So I'm just going to pack this all over my eyelid with my finger up to the crease, but not take it into the crease. Then I'm going to set it with the MAC Beautifully Marked, and you're going to see I have a blender brush, and first I'm just going to pack it right on top of that L'Oreal shadow, and then start blending it up into my crease. Doing this is going to help give us a softer smoky eye look and make it not so harsh. On top of that, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Shadow in Leap. I didn't realize this was currently unavailable, but it is really similar to Makeup Geek Black Light. So I'm just going to layer this all over the lid right on top and start blending it into the crease as well. When I got done, I realized that this was a little bit more kind of cosmic looking, a little bit brighter than I originally intended this look to be. And it's really pretty, but I did decide that I wanted to darken it back up. So first I'm going to take that original blender brush and blend out the edges just to make sure everything looks smooth and cohesive. I'm going to go back in with that darker plum shadow and layer it on one more time just to deepen the look back up. You could totally leave it lighter and brighter if that's what you wanted to do. This is just, I wanted something a little bit darker today. Then I'm going to go back in with that blender brush again. You're going to do this step so many times. It's so important just to make sure everything looks really well blended and not choppy. Then taking a banana powder, I'm just going to clean up under my eyes in case there was any fallout from those dark purple shadows and make sure it looks bright under there. Then I'm going to put on mascara and a pair of false lashes, which is so important for smoky eye, I think. Using my IT Cosmetics black liner just underneath my lower lash line, I'm going to use a smudger brush to smudge just the eyeliner out at first, and then I'll take that middle transition shade to buff it out even more. I didn't want to go heavy on the lower lash line, but I did want to kind of help balance the heaviness of our lids. I'm going to take the Bombs Bronzer in Bahama Mama. I'm going to contour and bronze with this. When you have a dark, smoky eye, it is so important to make sure the rest of your face is balanced. So you do want to make sure and put on bronzer, blush, etc. so that your eyes don't look really heavy and the rest of your face looks flat. So we're going to bronze our cheekbones, underneath our jawbone, our temple and forehead. Now I'm going to go in with the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and sweeping backwards right on top of that contour. And then blend it together with a duo fiber brush to make sure everything looks cohesive and isn't too harsh since we did put quite a bit of product on. For highlight, I'm going to use probably one of my all-time favorites. It is MAC Soft and Gentle. As you can see from that clip, it is well-loved and need to buy a new one. And I'm going to use a tapered highlighting brush and I'm going to go on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow. For lips, I'm going to use MAC Sore Lip Pencil and Okra's Liquid Lip in Charmed. For lip pencil, I do outline and I fill it all the way in. So in case that liquid lip fades, you're not seeing my bare lip underneath. 
These do match really well, which is my favorite technique is to match those two together. And then I'm just gonna coat my entire lips in this liquid lipstick. Ofra is probably my favorite liquid lipstick brand. I think they're really soft and wearable and they don't dry my lips out. Uh, they are being sold in Ulta now too, which is so exciting. You could previously only get them online and I'm really excited they're going me to stores now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram to look out for a giveaway coming up and I'll see you guys next time.